Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Real quick, I wanted to show you what Dad just built there. Got this idea from old guy firewood. And uh, you know, this is gonna be a game changer for anyone out there cutting firewood, timber, or just really kind of a pretty neat toy. Or you wanna have fun. <laughs> Again, 70 PSI and I'm what? Take a shot for up here over this big limb. I'm guessing that's 60 foot or so in the air. Are we ready? <laughs> Nice shot, Perfect. Dad. Yep. <laughs> that easy, guys. And hey, we're at uh, 65 PSI. Let me give him a little shot of that, Dave. Yes, about 65. And we're going to try that limb again. Oh, <laughs> Perfect, wow. man. Look at that. It goes back. <laughs> <laughs> That's impressive. Oh, isn't it? Look at that, folks. Here's a real quick overview of the bag launcher for forestry. You got a two inch pipe. This will be on the stock section with a cap. We've also got our pressure gauge and Schrader valve for pressurizing it. There's a two inch coupler and I'll show you the reducers down to one inch for our orbit sprinkler valve. And you can see the cap, pressure gauge and Schrader valve all installed. Here's the barrel inch and a half conduit next down to one inch pipe thread. That'll go on the other side of the sprinkler valve so the cap two inch stock gauge schrader valve reduced down to one inch pipe thread let's go in each end of the sprinkler valve show you that next so here we got our orbit sprinkler valve and i'll show you what you have to do to these this would be kind of the most complex part of your build i'm going to take off this 24 volt solenoid i'll show you we're going to drill this out to attach our um air blowgun to and then you have to unscrew this fill that weep hole with epoxy and also that little square hold with epoxy all right so here you can see the air gun is attached to the orbits valve we've epoxied this top weep hole and that square hold inside we'll let it set and see how it ends up and there you have it i got uh Everything assembled here should be good to go. I, I lined this up so I could use that as kind of like a sight peg there. We'll see how it works.